Okay. Hello, guys and girls. Uh, so, Taco Dante here again. Just got back from picking up my art book that came with my Dragon's Crown uh, pre order. I mean, yeah, pre order, I guess. Uh, GameStop ended up goofing up and, and really, uh, really messed up. They, uh, at first couldn't find the art book, claimed it was within the, uh, the game case, which I knew was a total fabrication. But anyways, the art book is larger than the, uh, game case. It's actually like the, the, uh, actual size of an art book. I mean, you, you see, compared to my hand, I mean, it's like, it's like an art book you'd buy at the uh, graphic novel store, or comic book store, or something like that. Uh, and uh, it's really, it's got some really cool artwork in it. But wanted to share that with you guys. And this is basically the art book contains character image breakdowns. It goes by starts off with the, the night artwork by. George Kamitani himself and uh, goes into different poses and uh, stances uh, that that uh, are in the game really cool stuff and uh, really cool artwork by George Kamitani one of the reasons I told you that you should have pre-ordered the game was to get this and you know it, this past you know past due on that so yeah, I guess you're SOL if you didn't pre-order it. But anyways, uh, as you can see, the artwork is very beautiful. The pages are not magazine type. They're more, I guess you call uh, newspaper type paper. You know, not really news tape. You know, but it's it's uh, I guess it's got like a satin finish to it or whatever. It's not magazine type or any high quality. But you know, at least it, at least it isn't glossy or anything like that. I mean, it shows art well, artwork off well enough. You can see how the Amazon looks tangled up with one of the snakes. Her her various movements, you know, in the game. It's basically a pose collection, is what they call it. And you got the main picture of her. You know, it's pretty cool stuff. And. Uh, I mean, it's like 64 pages long. It should goes through each character. You know, the dwarf shows. You know, first two pages show full figure artistic display of them, and then you got a medium size, and then you got the uh, the individual character poses. You know, shown, and then you got the elf here. Elf is pretty cool. Actually, made an elf called. Lego Lass, a uh, little play on Legolas. The name uh, gave her some some uh, quotes relating to Lord of the Rings. Yeah, if you get the game, you'll find that you can actually type what the character says. There's a, a letter limit to what you can type, though. But basically, basically, you can type what you like. I mean. I've even included some slightly swear words in there. I won't say it'll probably have some censors on there, like like I mentioned before. But anyway, there's the wizard, long-haired guy, elf-looking guy, and uh, his little magic spell book and his poses. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, go up here. All these illustrations right here are by George, uh, sorry for that, had to refocus the camera, but anyways, are by George Kamitani. He actually did these character designs within the game. And there's the uh, witch, the sexy witch with the uh, oversized uh, bosoms there. <laughs> but anyway, she got a frog looking all sexy and stuff. And uh, of course it shows her, her poses her various poses within the game you know each character comes alive I mean they're they're articulated very well you know seamlessly there's not any awkward move it, movements or like uh, fluid in motion what with the you know they are 
rendered as artwork though so there is some limited limitedness to the uh, realism that can be displayed but anyway the, there's the uh, fairy some artwork from within the game some of the uh, the map icons and sorry for the camera being shaky I'm, I'm, I'm holding it in my hand so it's it's a little uh, tricky to do but anyway there's the princess you know the uh, ki you know the king and the guy who wants to overthrow the throne and then there's uh, Morgan the uh, shop owner Samuel uh, David the uh, guild uh, master guy and then uh, Lou Kane, which is basically like Gandalf in a lot of ways. And uh, then you got the Labyrinth Breakdown. You know, I called them levels in the review. But, you know, the game goes by Labyrinth because basically they are maze type uh, encounters, I guess, for a dungeon brawler that is. And you got some of the uh, cutscene artwork found in the game the Roland the Barbarian. Uh, you know, the little mermaid, they sort of didn't show the whole thing there because she's practically naked sideways. And then you got the naked go you know, half-naked ghost and the, uh, forest wizard. And then you got the, uh, the monster compendium, as they call it. All the creatures found within the game. Surprisingly, there was a fairly limited, uh, selection of characters. But as you uh, progress in uh, rank, the characters change a little bit, and there's some new ones you'll find in uh, your later level playthroughs. Sorry, trying to trying to focus the camera and uh, turn the page at the same time. It's not working out too good. But anyways, you know, little beasts you can ride, the little saber tooth and the uh, the dragon lisk, and then you got more enemies. And then you got the bosses, you know, like the Doom Beetle and the Fungus and the Red Dragon, which is the uh, main last enemy of the game. And the Harpy, the Vampire Women, dang it. Lost track there, that was not cool. Jumping ahead of myself. Anyways, get back to where I was without. Without flipping the book over again like that, it's hard to balance the camera to uh, turn the pages at the same time. But anyway, there's art by different artists in here, like I said. Tribute, sort of. Uh, sorry for my shakiness there. And then there's like anime, more anime and style, uh, stylized. Yeah, there's anime stylized uh, artwork from, you know, different artists showing off, you know, different art styles. Then you have uh, glare on this camera's not working out too good for me, but anyway, you have uh, actual background images, uh, artwork by George Kam Kamitani, uh, showing off the various locations within the game, like the uh, little mushroom forest, the forest itself, the little uh, ancient temple, the lost catacombs, or whatever you call it, and then you got this interesting section that uh, deals with the camping mini game that happens if you choose to continue your, your online playthrough with uh, you know friends or whatever. It shows the uh, different types of meals you can cook up. Doesn't really explain their benefits or anything, but it's pretty cool. Uh, George Kami Tiny Van Vanillaware has always incorporated some element of exotic foods in their games. Really cool stuff. And I really like that. And then you have the, uh, I guess the, let's see what is this? this, is a concept art. This is what the game would have looked at like if they wouldn't have went with George Kamitani. I mean, it's more JRP, uh, JRPG style. It's not, uh, nothing close to what uh, the game actually turned out to be. So I'm grateful that George did get into the game. Then you have the, uh, the uh, guest artwork where George is where is the recording uh, giving credit to the different artists who added to this uh, 
limited edition book. Uh, most of them are from Capcom, from his days at Capcom. And yeah, that's a good, uh, you know, bit of recognition for them. And then following that, you have the the promotional artwork. I guess the artwork that these are that the artist he talked about uh, contributed. Then you got that sketch-looking drawing there. Then you got this very sexy Amazon uh, painting. Very cool. Then you have an anime-looking two-pager. It's got like uh, this, the witch and the Amazon, all of them. The elf in the tree, the dwarf. Uh, definitely, definitely awesome artwork. You know, I I, I had hoped y'all guys would have took my word for it and uh, pre-ordered the uh, book. Not sure if you did or not, but hopefully you did. Uh, this is going to be a hard book to find later on. Uh, definitely very much worth worth having. And then you got these last two pages, you know, a little collage of all the characters by different artists. A different rendition of the uh, knight there. More uh, ominous looking. I wouldn't say knight. I keep on saying knight, but this is a fighter. It's what it actually is. Then you get the last page, and it's the credits. And then if you look down here at the bottom, it says not for sale so this sucker's not for sale folks uh you might get in trouble if you do try to sell so i don't know but anyway here's the uh background i mean the uh back cover got the castle the two uh naked ladies that i actually show in the menu system and then you turn it back you got the uh cover which is very reminiscent of uh dungeons and dragons type of role-playing book and uh, a little throwback to that that you know that type of game, so that's that's pretty awesome. I, I like. Uh, let me get this back in the view here. I really like the art book. It was worth it. You know, uh, I'm glad I went back and got it. I mean that GameStop goofed up. I mean I I expected them to for some reason. You know I had it in the back of my mind they're gonna screw up and not have it, but they. Luckily, Sarah did get the book to me, so I'm glad I got it. Glad I pre-ordered it, even though I did get the game early. Uh, you know, if you missed out, you know, it's tough, tough luck, I guess. But, uh, anyways, I also bought Tales of Zillia, or whatever you want to pronounce that as, uh, the limited edition. I'm going to do a unboxing of that next. And I'm also going to do probably a video playthrough walkthrough of the game it'll be my first video walkthrough of it so you can look forward to that and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed the look at the art book you know if you missed it I uh, feel sorry for you but I did tell you did warn you and until next time keep it awesome my friends